What is up YouTube, this is Jimmer from Team Bionet, and today guys we have my first place locals uh, Blackwing deck profile. Uh, as you could probably see on my community tab yesterday, hopefully anyways, uh, I went 5-0 and at locals with this. Uh, this is for our briefcase tournament, we do a monthly like a uh, Wrestlemania type championship belt tournament where if you are the belt holder of the month you get uh, table 1 privileges throughout the entire month. The briefcase is like if you know anything about wrestling you can cash in the briefcase, get a round 1 pairing against the current belt holder and that'll decide if you get to become the new champion of the month. Uh, it's just something fun that we do for our locals, you know, spice it up a bit. But I took Black Wings to locals, not knowing that it was the uh, brief briefcase tournament, otherwise I probably would have taken Sword Soul, uh, which I took to Nationals. Um, but nope, I went undefeated through four rounds of Swiss, and then there was two people at the end of the day who were undefeated, obviously me being one of them, and my buddy Dylan from Dual Radio. Uh, I'll have his link in, to his channel in the description. Please check him out. Great friend of mine. Great YouTuber. Honestly, much better content. Um, but this is the the list, the exact list that I took to locals yesterday. Um, so I will break it down for you. We will be going over my main side and extra. Uh, put the dual radio. No, I'll just put that off to the side. Just a little glare. Obviously, this is my first time using a face cam, so. Please bear with me, I just wanted to try something new, see if it would be something that you guys are interested in. Uh, camera is like up here, I'm looking down here to where I am, half the time, sorry about that. Uh, I'm new to this. Anyways, for the main deck, it is a 40 card main deck, because we need to stay as consist consistent as possible. Uh, 3 Samoon, the Poison Wind. Uh, hopefully if you're watching this you know what these cards do by now. Um, this card is a couple years old, so... Ideally, if you're looking into Black Wings, you know what most of these cards do. Any of the newer cards, though, I will go over. Uh, we're only playing one Zephyros. Uh, people were playing two at one point. I wanted to really cut down on the deck, make it for as close to 40 cards as I can. Uh, so, one Zephyros. If you do happen to draw this, it does suck a little bit. But with the addition of new cards that have come out recently, uh, you can play through it. You just won't get that revive off of a Black Feather Whirlwind as often. Uh, speaking of Black Feather Whirlwind... Our three searchers for it is uh, Blackwing, Shamal, the, I don't know his full name, honestly, Sandstorm. Um, discard it to the graveyard, which is a cost to send to the graveyard, so you cannot do this under something like D-Shifter or uh, Arise Heart, which obviously uh, caches the best deck and the hardest matchup for this deck, which is what Dylan was on at the end of the day. Uh, fortunately, I was able to take that game off him, or that match. Uh, three Shamal, though. With Shamal, three Sudri. Uh, Sudri is really good, getting you essentially your Shamal and everything else that you need. Uh, I am still on one Gale. Uh, you do need uh, the Synchro 7 plays sometimes. Uh, it re it's really nice also with the uh, effect to half the opponent's monster's attack. Uh, one Harmaton. The level modulation is just really nice. Three Vada. Uh, being able to summon your Black Wing Dragon for free just by having a Black Wing on the field. You can special it. Make your black wing. Uh, the newest card is one Chandra. I'm not sure how to fully pronounce this card's name, to be honest. Uh, Sharnga? Sharnga, the wavering something. Uh, this card is really cool if you control a dark monster, or I believe it's if it's a dark monster. Let's see. If a monster with 2,000 or more attack is on the field at all, I believe, is what that just said. Uh, you can just special summon it for free. You can only special summon it once per turn that way. Um, it is a level 2 tuner. Uh, its graveyard effect is really insane. Is If you control a Blackwing Synchro monster, you can banish this from the graveyard, target one face of card your opponent controls, destroy it. You have to have a Black Winged Synchro monster, or Black Wing Synchro monster, to activate that. So it will not work with something like a Assault Black Winged Dragon, the newer from Dabble uh, level 10 Synchro. It has to be a Black Wing Synchro monster. I made that mistake because uh, this is the first time I'm playing this deck at a locals as opposed to uh, doing test hands or online simulators. Um, and my opponent was like, hey, this is not a Black Wing Synchro. I'm like, I apologize, you're right, fixed it, uh, continued the game. Fortunately, I won even though I made that misplay. But you have to be careful looking out for that. Uh, just really good extender though. Uh, next, one Chinook, it's essentially Effect Veiler. And rounding off the Black Wing. Uh, the black wing cards is one Oroshi the Squall. I am no longer playing Vayu. Um, Vayu is a terrible card to draw. It is a very strong card if you don't draw it though. 
uh, being able to send it off of your uh, Boris stream to make it a level one and then synchro into Hot Red Dragon Archfiend. It's just with this newer build and how I have it played out, I believe personally that a uh, one Oroshi is better than one Oroshi and one Bayou because if you draw the Oroshi, it's not nearly as bad as drawing like the Roshi and the Vayu because you can still do stuff with it um, and it's obviously still searchable, it's a free body, it doesn't take up a normal summon if you have another black wing. This is just my personal opinion on it. So that is it for the black wings. For the, uh, we're just going to call them small world bridges, essentially it is uh, one Raiden, this card is still really good. Uh, it's even better personally now, in my opinion, with the release of Assault Synchron. So this is both a small world bridge and an extender. Uh, obviously, a rise heart is the biggest problem, or the biggest problem with this deck. So, being able to get to your Raiden essentially off of uh, any of your Black Wings, since we're no longer playing Bestials in the main deck, you could re reveal a Black Wing, reveal an Assault uh, Assault Synchron from your deck, and then add the Raiden on the Resolution of Small World to Kaiju over your opponent's Arise Heart, which is really great. Uh, so then your Black Wings aren't getting banished. Um, and then Assault Synchron is a really good card. Uh, fun interaction with it is if you have Black Winged Dragon on your field, you can special summon it on resolution of a special summon. I guess a part of its effect is uh, for the special summon is you would take 700 damage. You don't take that 700 damage with a Black Winged Dragon because he'll gain the counter instead. So it's essentially just a free summon. Um, and then its other effect is that you can, or if one of your dragon monsters is tributed or banished while it was face up on the field, you can banish this card, target that dragon monster, and special summon it back. Uh, going into the side deck, I'll show you the perfect interaction with that, which I was able to pull off once. Mind blowingly powerful. Um, Assault Synchron is a really great card, though. I don't believe you need more than two of it, because uh, I feel like it would just be too bricky at that point. You're seeing too many of them. Um, but we're going to play a lot of tubes in this deck, I'll tell you now. Uh, starting off with the spells. Uh, two Triple Tactics Talents, two Pot of Prosperities, and two Small Worlds. Um, I was initially maxing out on Prosperity and Small World, then seeing more than one copy of these in your hand at any given point is just such a bummer. Um, talents, I feel like, shouldn't currently be played at more than two if you're trying to play a 40-card main deck. Uh, same with Prosperity. Small World, I get that you want to get to your Samoon, but you have so many cards in this deck that, like, are one to two card combos. Like, uh, if you open Black Whirlwind and Sudri alone, that's just so much extension. Then you have three other cards in your hand to continue extending. So, six normal spells. Obviously, we gotta play Whirlwind, three Whirlwind, and two Black Feather Whirlwind. Y'all know what these do. Um, I used to play three of these, I cut it back because I was, I was seeing, again, too many of it in the opening hand with not enough monsters to synchro summon with, so it was just unfortunate, uh, I couldn't really do too much with it, but uh, at two it's perfectly fine, you can search it off of your Shamal, you can search it off of your Sudri if you need to, it's really strong. Uh, new edition, let me double check what set this is from, Cattle Call. Uh, this is from Shining Victory, I believe is what that was, S-H-I-V, or S-H-V-I, S-H-V-I. Uh, you can tribute one Wing Beast, Beast, or Beast Warrior Monster, I believe is what it was, World Wing Beast, so it doesn't matter too much, to special summon from your extra deck, one monster from your extra deck that is the same type as that. So, let's say you open an awkward hand of something like, I don't know, um, Vada... Uh, Black Feather Whirlwind, this call by, and oh, I don't even know. Um, we'll just say two Vada essentially. You can special Vada use this effect to tribute it off, or it doesn't tribute its cost. It's special use its effect. You'll send like your uh, whatever you want to use to make your Black Winged Dragon, and then since you'll have your Black Feather Whirlwind on the field, you can target that Vada to bring it back. Uh, if they DD Crow or Bissiel or Bell like your Magma Hut or whatever, you can Cattle Call your own uh, Vada to special summon a monster from our extra deck that I will show you later. Uh, or I guess you can even just special summon your um, Boris Stream, and that's your Synchro Tuner and your 
non-tuner black-winged dragon, you can banish those face up to summon your assault black-winged dragon. It's a niche combo in that specific scenario, but there are other combos within the deck that it makes sense to do it. Uh, quick final for the quick plays and spells in general is one call by the grave. For the traps, we just keep it basic. Uh, the only hand traps we are essentially playing are three imperm and one black wing twin shadow. That is it for the main deck. The extra deck, uh, one dark. So even though we can lock ourselves into synchro plays with uh, Sudri, the Ibli lock is getting a lot more popular with uh, cash players going into game two and three, whatever. They'll search it off of, like, a, if they're playing a uh, sign up mining or if they just happen to draw it. Normal summon it, link it off into their Lingaribo to protect themselves from traps or card destruction for one of them, I believe. Uh, and then give us this. So if we open up, like, a uh, Shamal or Sudri, we can normal summon it. Sudri would be get the effect, and we can link them both off into dark. And that gets rid of the it block. Uh, the reason I'm playing Kato Call is also Garura. He is a Dark Wing Beast monster that we can summon off of it. And worst case scenario, he's a one. Um, there's been cases where I have had used him and uh, Oroshi to synchro into uh, I can't remember his name, but he'll pop up in a minute. Um, Rakari, and then I've also had a uh, Black Feather Whirlwind. So I've brought back the Oroshi. I got a draw for this, and I got a pop one card from uh, Rakari's effect. And then this is probably going to give a little bit away, and the uh, side deck is one Dragostapelia. It's really easy to make this uh, if we go into, like, uh, Garura, or if, we go in, if we're playing against Tyr or whatnot, which is very common at my locals, so this is more of a meta call. You can play a Mud Dragon instead if you would rather uh, for a super poly target. At my locals, Tyr is just a bit more pop popular. Uh, extra deck. Pretty basic. Uh, one Boar Stream. One the Thung, one Rakari. One thing that I've changed is two Black Winged Dragons. So you can easily loop Black Winged Dragon. Uh, the most I've summoned in one turn, I believe, was three. I might have hit four at one point. Um, I'm sure that's telling you more things about the rest of the extra deck. They still pitter patter. Let's get at her. Uh, Black Winged Dragon is being a dragon is really nice, and it's also a side deck uh, target for something I will show you later. Um, one Silver Wind. One hot red. Uh, I can't remember your name. One armor master, full armor master. Uh, next, we are playing two black winged assault dragons. Uh, you can super easily summon this with its actual summoning procedure uh, using the black winged synchro tuner and non tuners, or the banishing effect, which I have recently found out summoning off its banishing effect is not once per turn. So if you have an awkward hand, you can just bring back one of your monsters from the banish. Uh, then use it for its when you summon the second second black winged dragon. You can bring back like your boar stream with this yield pitter patter and uh, banish them again essentially. Uh, one chaos angel. I know we're not playing any light monsters, so the only effect we're getting off this is for darks. This is more for I'm very cautious of time because our combos do take so very long. Um, that I do not want to lose a thousand life points during the end phase by resolving Samoon. So I will summon this often and banish my own Black Whirlwind, so I'm not losing that thousand life points during the end phase from it being sent to the graveyard since it's no longer on the field. And then finally, uh, I know its name is just Vistial Dispatter or Dispatter, whatever. I just say, like saying Pitter Patter, let's get at her. That is it for the extra deck for the side deck. This might seem a little weird. Uh, some of my ratios or some of my choices might seem a little weird, especially one of them in particular, but. We are playing Bestials. Uh, the Bestial Lubellion, game two and three, we can summon Chaos Angel with a light and a dark because if we have uh, any Bestial, we can summon it. Or if we open Magma Hut, uh, or during our opponent's turn, if we Magma Hut or open this, we can pitch this, add Magma Hut, Magma Hut effect, summon by banishing anything, uh, bring this back, and then we have so many level two tuners that it's super easy to, to make Chaos Angel with light and dark. Three Magma Hut and one Druid Swarm. Uh, I was initially playing the uh, Baldrake. I just didn't think it was as needed anymore. Um, one thing that I found really funny to side deck against, particularly against Cash for the Iblock, is one Caius, the Shadow Monarch. 
I might get some flack for this, but it was more so of a meme. Don't actually side this if you're going to a locals or a regional. Um, I did tribute a Ibli with this uh, that I was locked under with this in hand. Uh, I tributed it and then I targeted my opponent's Arise Heart. He, I think it was Dylan's actually, uh, our match, my match against Dylan from Dual Radio. Targeted his Arise Heart to try to banish it. He impermed it. It was mostly for the memes, but uh, the theory was there. Um, it was also a pretty good card for a time if you know you can tribute summon it, target itself to banish it, burn for a thousand. Uh, anyways, three Super Poly. Uh, I'm trying to get my third secret. I just bought three Ultras and then a couple packs of uh, Battles of Legend, Monsters Revenge, and pulled two secrets. But uh, three Super Poly. Uh, three evenly matched for going second. Obvious things are obvious. Evenly matched is really good against everything. And then the amazing card that should probably, in my opinion, get hit back to, I would say one. I don't know if it's quite ban worthy yet. Um, it, it, it sure feels like it when it's resolved, it's ban worthy. But uh, Eradicator Epidemic Virus. So the nice combo with this is if you tribute off, let's say like Bis uh, Bisseal Patter, uh, Hot Red Dragon Archfiend, which is something I did do uh, yesterday, is in specific scenario, I had a Hot Red on the field. Uh, during, and then I also had, I should specify, uh, Assault Synchron in my graveyard. So these, this was in my graveyard. Uh, I flipped it, Eradicator, during the standby phase, tributing it, uh, calling traps, because I was just afraid of traps. And then Assault Synchron, I was able to banish it to bring back a dragon monster that was tributed this turn. Um, unless I mistakenly cheated my opponent, uh, I believe that's how the interaction should be going. But Assault Synchron is pretty cracked. Uh, in this specific scenario. And then there was a game where I had two Eradicators, and I bricked pretty badly, so all I ended on was a Black Winged Dragon. So, during the standby phase, put this away. Black Winged Dragon and Assault Synchron. Set two cards. Standby phase, Eradicator, Tribute, Call Spells. Assault Synchron, brought it back. Eradicator, Call Traps. And it just... It cleared their, their entire hand of uh, everything but one card. So it's really a really a strong blowout card uh, for this deck. Everything's dark, everything has more than 2,500. You do have to be cautious, though. Uh, if you do take effect damage with Black Wing Dragon, it will lower its attack by 700 for each feather counter because it's going to prevent the effect damage. So you, if it has any feather counters, you cannot tribute it for Eradicator because it would be down to 2,100 attack. Uh, but that is it for the deck profile, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, real quick, shout out to Dual Radio. Thank you for this token, man. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the deck profile, uh, drop a like, drop a comment. I will be doing a combo tutorial for you guys pretty soon for this. Uh, Blackwing is just such a fun deck. Uh, I've got plenty of like two 2.5 card combos because there's no real true one card combos with Blackwing, unfortunately. Uh, the deck is just extremely fun. So if you guys enjoyed the deck profile, please, again, drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get back up to 5,000 because I'm not as active on YouTube anymore, but I would like to try to get back up to five, eventually 10,000 uh, subscribers. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Sorry for the uh, terrible quality of the webcam, lighting, everything. Work in progress. Thanks for watching the video.